Camden, New Jersey, less than a decade ago, considered the most dangerous city in America. Shootings. You wouldn't see any children because they were scared to come out of the house. This was a rough place. This was a rough place. And the attitude of the police force. It was more of a us versus them mentality. Um, we're, the, we're the good guys and if you're not one of the good guys, you're one of the bad guys. It's absolutely the case. That, Former uh, police chief Scott Thompson any, spent the last seven the years trying to change that. In 2013, when the city disbanded the entire police department over budget constraints, political disputes and union contracts. Platoon, attention! It was an opportunity to start over. How do you, as police chief, then rebuild it from the ground up? We were coming off of uh, what was statistically our most violent, deadliest year in the city. We had had 67 murders in 2012. Every new recruit that came through the door, they were told, you were going to identify yourself more with being a member of the Peace Corps then you will be a special forces operator in the military. I don't want you to fall over and hurt yourself. The hope was to restore the public's trust in law enforcement, or in some cases, build trust where there had never been any, a shift to community policing. When our recruits graduate the academy, they're immediately put on a footbeat and introduced to the community. They, all they do is knock on doors and introduce themselves. Put the ticket books away. Don't look to make an arrest as, your first, as the first tool that you're pulling out of, out of your, your, your toolbox. At the time, there were streets overrun by drug deals. People were afraid to come outside. What we did, which, is, which has given us sustainability and momentum, is we addressed that issue by engaging and empowering the people to leave their home. We'd give away free ice cream. We'd put pop-up barbecues. We would feed the community. The day we visited, Captain Zach James was handing out coronavirus masks and getting lots of smiles. But 22-year-old Monet Lee wasn't buying any of it. The relationship with police, and I wouldn't just say in our city, in other cities too, is not good. We don't, they don't interact with us. I never um, took for granted the fragility of the trust that we started to get. Um, and I think we still have a long way to go to get even more in this city. The department completely rewrote its use of force guidelines with an emphasis on de-escalation, and the entire force was retrained. Thompson cites this video of a man wielding a knife as the moment he knew cops were getting it. He was refusing the commands to drop the knife. Sir, drop the knife. Officers had tried to use a taser. Officers followed him patiently for several blocks, waiting for the right moment to make an arrest. Drop the knife. There's not a shadow of a doubt in my mind that six months prior to that, we would have shot and killed that man. According to the department, excessive force complaints have dropped 95 percent since 2014. We find that if you, you take the time and attempt to de-escalate, there's less uses of force that are necessary. If you can talk to people, you can talk them right in the handcuffs. But despite the reforms, there are still problems. This officer punching a man in 2018 was fired, and the video shown to every unit. We were signaling to every single cop that that was absolutely inappropriate, and we were not going to stand for it. Anthony Ways runs a community youth center in Camden. Would you say people in Camden, especially the young people that you work with at this center, do they trust the police department? Not yet, no. Why? So the intimidating factors still exist. It's not physical as much as it is as mental. We talked to the former police chief who said they focused on use of force and de-escalation, trying to become more guardians of the city as opposed to enforcers in the city. Yes. Have you seen that change at all on the streets? Yes. I, I have to say that as far as physical combat, I have to say something's changed. They are not jumping out, dunking people in their head no more. The repeated complaint from residents is that nearly half the police force is white in a city that is more than 90 percent black and Hispanic. How much of a difference would it make to you to have police officers who were from here also be the ones that were walking the streets? I think it would make a major difference because this is your city. Who better to run it than the people from it? We have not crossed the finish line here. Uh, we're better today than we were yesterday. Can change happen between the police and black African Americans in America? Hopefully sometime, maybe in the next generation. 
every police officer in the Camden Police Department wears a body cam, which a lot of departments do, and they're rolling whenever they make an arrest or, or respond to a call. What's different about Camden is that any time there's a use of force incident during that call, the commanding officer will review that video and make sure to make sure that it follows the use of force guidelines.